Hey, can you hear me? Yep. I'm sorry about that. The uh, the call dropped. That's fine. Do you uh, have an answer to why human essentialism yet? Can you tell me again? Uh, can you tell me again what your thought process was? Well, yeah, you're I basically just saying that humans so. are special because they're human, right? You're not giving any real clear defining yeah. line. Like, like there is like, what's the defining difference between I mean, us I, and like, I just thought that was self evident. To... No, that's just human essentialism. That's I don't vibe with that intuitively. So you, you don't view okay. I mean, because I didn't expect the argument to even go in this direction. I thought you were going to argue about why you think a mother should have the right to kill her own child out of convenience. The right would be that after. any. The right would be that. Well, who said they're killing them eight months in? That would be weird. Well, you said all of nine months. Yeah. Pro choice all nine months. Yeah, I believe you can have an abortion up till the moment of birth. That doesn't mean I think you can kill yeah, something up until the moment of birth. That's pretty sinister. No. So you don't view abortion. So maybe that's a better argument. You don't view abortion as killing. Uh, I view any abortion that happens prior to 24 weeks as killing. Prior to 24 weeks. Yeah. So let me just let me just lay out the stance so that let me just lay out the stance so that you're aware of it. Let me just lay out the stance so you're aware of it. I believe that that prior to 24 weeks, you can have any type of abortion you want. Does not matter. After 24 weeks, you can if it's not for medical emergency, you should have a cesarean section or an induction and the fetus should be kept alive because at this point the fetus is sentient, which is where I place my moral moral consideration prior to, to 24 weeks. Don't give a fuck what happens to it. It's not sentient. I don't care if a sentient creature dies or a so, non-sentient creature okay. dies. So, so what you're saying is the fact that it's a, the fact that it's human isn't what's valuable to you. It's the fact that it's sentient. And that's Correct. what you said earlier. I don't value humans just because they're humans. That would be circular logic. Why? Why would that be circular logic? Because you're saying this human is important because it's a human. And because it's a human, that makes it important. That's a circle. Well, I think human beings are born with value. I, I'm pretty sure that's yes, that's because they're because they're humans. That's why you think that. But that's a circle. Well, I mean, above that, I I, I believe our sentience is. Um, it's a matter of uh, spiritual importance and that, you know, I'm not going to bore you with the re- my religious convictions because I want to argue from the standpoint of abortion. But the, the problem is, and, is, is even if you're going under the religious thing, it's still we're important because we're humans. Like God says we're important because we're humans. Like it's the same. It's still it's still human essentialism, essentially. Like that's the stance. It's human essentialism. So so okay. So so you think there's nothing wrong with terminating an unborn human being as long as they are sentient. No, I think there's nothing wrong with killing or a non sentient. Before, before sentient. Yeah, I think there's nothing wrong. There's no morality in killing a non sentient. See, I would I, I so so you think yeah, yeah. But I mean I, I would argue that um, that well, first of all, there's it's a scientific consensus that life begins at conception, correct? Sure, I don't disagree with that. So then, taking so, would you agree with the fact that abortion is killing another human life? Sure, you're definitely killing something. Yeah. Uh, prior to and so you weeks, see no yeah. problem with that. Prior to 24 weeks? No, why would I? That's what I'm having a hard time with. Yes, if if I'm killing how could, something that's how, not how could you not, why would I care? How, how could you not have... How could something inside of you not see the problem? I mean, because a lot of people... What? They're not willing to admit that abortion is taking another human life. You are killing another human life. A lot of people aren't willing to admit that. You are willing to admit that. So then, how yeah, are you not willing a, to admit that there's something do, morally do I, wrong about that? Well, I don't think just taking—I I mean. don't think taking a life is inherently morally wrong.
If someone breaks into my house and is threatening to kill my family and I kill him, I don't think I did anything immoral. Yeah, I, I would agree with that, that you're killing it. Great. That, so clearly there, is, it clearly, there is life, clearly there is life that we can kill. If you're the mother, especially. Um, I don't believe that uh, fetuses are innocent. I believe they're amoral agents. I don't think they have the ability to be innocent or, or n otherwise. They're amoral agents. You think a mother would think of her child as an amoral agent? Oh, what do I care what the mother thinks of the fetus? Because it's 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 her decision you're arguing for, right? Correct. So if she think if she places value on the fetus, great. I'm not going to tell her that she has to get an abortion. She's going <laughs> to. I'm not over here saying you yeah, must. The get mother an abortion. should place value on her fetus. That's a good some way. Some do. Her. Some some don't, and they don't have to. I know it's unfortunate. I, I think it's unfortunate. The ones that don't, and I don't think we should live in a society where cool, but you can't we make you can't it normalized this. for mothers not to care about their children. Yeah, but you can't substantiate not to care about this in preserving any... the life of their children. Again, you can't substantiate this in any meaningful way, except now making like an appeal to emotion, right? I don't believe it's a child. I don't believe it's a child prior to any sort of uh, sentience, right? It's just a fetus. It's a human being in the field stage. Never said it wasn't. A, never said it wasn't a human. I said I don't believe human it's beings. a child. I know you don't believe human beings have value. You don't see anything wrong with killing. I believe them. sentient that's human beings have value. I don't, you can that's try to. Where we disagree. You can try to straw man my position all you want, but I'm I'm very clear. I'm not straw man of your. I'm not that is a straw man of my position. position. You're, you're I believe clear about sentient, your position. I believe I'm just sentient telling you, humans. I'm telling it back to you. How, I believe how you sound. because you no. Uh, yeah, see how I sound. You're not doing it with the words that I say. You're doing it with how those words sound to you. The words that I've said are very clear. I believe that sentient humans have value. And I, and I place moral consideration on sentient humans. I do not place moral consideration on bodies. Like, just because they're bodies. I don't place moral consideration on that. That'd be ridiculous. Okay. I don't really see... I mean, you're very, you're very clear on your position, and you have a strong opinion about. I don't know. I just, I, I just figured you would be able to see something morally wrong with, for a mm. mother to have a choice to kill, her child. Yeah, can all, you, all you're doing is right. intuition pumping the conversation. That's all you're doing. The the reason why you keep using the word child is because you're intuition pumping. The reason why you keep saying kill all nine months is because you're not listening to what I said, even though well, I very clearly, said. nope, it's not that's what I said. What you and stated. you know it's not what I said. That's, that's what you stated on the nope, thing. Nope, it's you not. not. Nope. I said you can have an abortion all nine months. An abortion doesn't have to be killing. Hesterotomy abortions and induction abortion abortions. Nope. Hesterotomy abor abortions and induction abortions. Abortion is can the termination of a human life. Nope, it's the termination of a pregnancy. Do you want me to read you the definition Which... of abortion directly out of Harvard Medical? It's the termination of a pregnancy, not the termination of a, and, of a fetus. Termination what is terminated just, in a pregnancy? It just means ending the pregnancy, specifically and, by and medical means, pregnancy. by taking the fetus and out. You, and and what happens when you take a fetus out? It can survive if it's post. This viability. is just semantics. I if mean, you, you know if, what I'm saying. I'm sorry. If so a, you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A baby's born at 31 weeks. Is that baby dead now? All of a sudden. Baby just it comes out and, is, and dies? Or do we recognize that fetal viability exists and past 24 weeks, which it so happens to coincide with sentience, past uh, 24 weeks, fetuses are pretty viable, like upwards of 70%. They don't just die, right? They don't just come out what and die. Do, what does this have to do with abortion? Because I've said multiple times that I believe that after 24 weeks that we should use abortion methods that prioritize the life of the fetus, such as hesterotomy abortions or induction abortions. But you don't listen. But by terminating, you, but by terminating a pregnancy, you means you're you ending it. It means you're ending. It yes. means you're ending it. Does not mean if you're a killing baby, the fetus. If a I don't baby know how many times I've said early, this. We t there are methods that doctors take. I don't, take to I don't know how many. I don't know how happen. many times. Can you just tell me how many times I have to repeat my position for you to keep strawmanning it? Like at what point? At what point of position. repeating my position will you stop strawmanning it? I understand your position fully. I'm just. Sure, then let me ask I'm you, do I think, do I think, to... I'm asking you, I'm going to ask you a question about my position. Do I think fetuses should be killed post 24 weeks? No, you don't. Great. So then stop saying that. Okay. 
I guess I, I think where we disagree the most is just you don't think human you don't think there's anything value about being human. I think there is value in sentience. I think that's that's the main problem here. Do I don't you think value, I've ever do you value spoken a brain to someone dead person? who has that position. Do I don't think I've ever a... spoken to someone who's ever had that position. Sure. Do you value a brain dead person? Yes. That, what do you mean, yes? How do you value a brain dead person? Because they're human. I just not what I asked you. I asked you, how do you value them? In what ways are you valuing them? Do you believe if, if a person is brain dead, we should keep them? We should keep them on life support for for indefinitely, forever. If a person's brain dead, do I think we should keep them on life support? I think it's ultimately up to the family now. So it's up to some other moral agent. Why? If you now, believe now they're you're valuable, like, why? If you believe that they're Um, if, you, if you believe they hold the same value, why would we say we can take them off of life? So why would we say we ever can take them off of life support if they hold the same value? I think in that, in because that, that's an extreme case you're arguing. Mm, nope. Life's, uh, uh, it's pretty normal for people to be brain dead. Well, happens every time someone dies. <laughs> so I wouldn't say this is an extreme case. Well, what I was saying was that every human being is born with inherent value. And I think there's value in being human. I think if someone's brain dead, it's left up to the family. So they only have inherent value when they're born? What about prior no. to birth? No. Yeah. Well, you just said every human is no, born I'm, with inherent yeah, value. Yeah. Fetuses aren't born. Every person that... uh, Sorry, let me walk that back. That's not what I meant. Every human being is created with inherent value every human being is created and that value i think value. that value begins at conception because that's when life is created great someone is so why dead, does somebody who's I'm brain dead sorry, lose that I have, I have why do they done. lose that value but i don't why, think they do then why shouldn't they be kept so. alive indefinitely if they haven't lost the value from being I think brain it's dead inhumane. i think it's i think it's inhumane to keep them to keep them alive why They're not in pain. What is that? If they're not in pain, why is it inhumane to keep them alive? You don't think you don't think dying would be worse? I think um, no, I don't. So it's human life only has value unless it's inhumane to keep them alive. In no. which case, human life no longer has value. So what? Is, so then, what is it? I just think we're. I think all human life has inherent value, and I think if you refuse to see why, you haven't been able to substantiate being human why is more is valuable than just being sentient. You quite literally haven't been able to substantiate why humans have inherent value. You just keep saying they do because they do. Right, you're not substantiating it. Do you think animals? Do you think animals are just as important as we are? Yeah, yeah. I think sentient creatures don't uh, should not be placed into a hierarchical power structure. Are are you? Do you eat meat? No, but I never claimed that I was a moral person. I'm just arguing in favor of morality. Didn't say I was moral. That's interesting. So you think you think animals are just as important as us? Yeah, and that it's sentience that. All right, well that's interesting. I've never. I mean, I know. I, I get it. I've never talked to anyone who's ever had that opinion. You never talked to a vegan before. Truthfully. Well, I, I I've talked to a no. Actually, I haven't. Okay, because this is just the I've vegan position. I've seen them spread shit out all online, but I've never actually spoken to one. It's pretty, I mean, it's just hard for me to believe that you, you don't see any unique thing about being, but it's kind of sad, actually. Any unique thing about being born? You you don't see yourself as valuable. I am valuable. I'm sentient. I'm very valuable. 
All right, that's good. Were I not sentient? No, if I was not sentient, I have no value. Uh, oh my god! All right, I don't think we're gonna agree on 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 this just because of that premise. Well, yeah, I how could try how to... could we? You don't you don't substantiate anything you say with except for be, it is because it is. So yeah, of course we don't. We're not going to agree. You're not able to ar- accurately argue your position. What I was I was simply gonna argue about the how abortion is immoral for all nine months, but yeah, I've never heard like, anyone against abortion argue that. Do you think it's immoral to take sentience is what's important? Wait, do you think it's immoral to take a fetus outside of a a womb uh, if the fetus does not die? Is this now immoral? If, if the what? If the fetus does not die. Is it immoral to yes. take it out of the womb? What do you mean? It, if it does not die? If it does not die, would you it be if immoral? Like, if it's born early? If it if it does not die, would it be immoral to have like induce labor? If you're taking the fetus out and it does not die, would this be immoral? No. And you don't the, view my position. Then my the position doctors is not are immoral. the the doctors are taking uh, certain measures to preserve that life. Great, then my position is not immoral. Yes, yeah, that is my I, position. I never said, you know what? I, I don't think it is, actually. Did I say that earlier? Yes, just now. I don't think, I, I just think we fundamentally disagree on, uh, on, on placing uh, value on people. You place value. I think being people. human is. I think being human is is more important than. What do you, what do you mean? You place value just, on people. You just place your value on them at a different stage, but you place value on people. No, no, no. What I mean is is how we we both value people. You 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 value things based on if they're sentient or not. Yes, I value things on like measurable qu- quantities of the brain. You value things just because they exist. Because they're human. Yeah, except every time I ask you why, you just go because they're human. Know. Why are humans valuable? Because they're human. I think it's because inherent. Human, it makes them valuable. I think it's inherent. Yeah, it's called circular logic. Yeah. I think we're I mean I we're made in the image of God. I think yeah. there's You'd have to prove a god now, which is like an impossible task. I mean, it's just as impossible as as disproving it. I don't. There's no disproving it. I don't have the burden of proof. I'm not making a claim that God exists or doesn't. You are. I don't have the burden of that's proof a to prove a god. You have the that's an that's an entirely different thing. I don't wish to get into all that, but I think that's it's probably why uh, um, why. I won't be able to convince you of of human beings being valuable outside of their just their sentience. Well, because so it's, that's an, okay. it's, it's an indefensible position. That's all right. Let me think what else to because uh, I'm I'm just curious about what are some of the other uh, um. Let me think here. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, about not really. About like my position. Uh, no, your position. Is, of... Your position is pretty straightforward. You you uh, use you use religion to determine your moral your morality. It's pretty. Uh... I do. I think a, I think a moral framework is important. Yeah, I do too. I don't think you need religion to accomplish this. Do you think uh do you think morality would exist without religion? It it did. Did it? Yeah, religion is not as old as humans. So yeah, it existed well before uh well but before religion. Can you scientifically well can you scientifically explain why something is moral? No. no, science does not make moral claims. You would use logic and like critical thinking to so then, so then so then where does so then where does morality come from 
I just told you logic and critical thinking. Logic and critical thinking. <clears throat> yes. Science doesn't science doesn't tell us what is or is not moral. Science just guides us to help make moral choices. I would say that um I don't know. I think, or you know what I'll ask you actually, and this is the last thing I'll ask you because I gotta go, but I'm curious if you think uh, teaching kids religion is important. No. Yeah. Why would I? Why? You don't think uh, it's important for kids to to learn about how their ancestors and family before them how they justified their actions wait i have no issues i have no issues with teaching children religion on like a historic basis right but i mean like oh oh, okay like in like you mean like them into religion yeah no i wouldn't do that why would you why would you classify it as indoctrination though because uh, someone could argue that anything you're spouting off about no because i mean you don't tell i don't don't know what the age, age range of People I don't you tell people. Speak to are, but you, somebody could argue that that's indoctrination. No, because I don't tell people to believe things unilaterally with no proof of them, and that they can't question those beliefs. Religion does. Christianity specifically teaches you that the, that uh, there is one God, and all other gods are false prophets. They don't want you learning about other gods. That would be indoctrination. I don't do that. I tell people to use their critical point. thinking and have and have sources or or things to back up the things they say. I mean, every you said Christianity specifically says to worship one God. Any monotheist, monotheist religion. Any monotheist. But then why do does. why do all the other religions recognize Christ? What are you are you talking about the Abrahamic religions because they're all based on the same thing? <laughs> so of course they're all going to talk about Christ. They're all based on the same I'm, region I'm, and time. I'm saying. Period of the world? I'm saying. I'm saying every religion. Every religion acknowledges the exist the existence of Christ. Only the three Abrahamic religions, and not Christianity. Ever. Just the three Abrahamic religions, and those three Abrahamic religions are not the only religions that exist. Yeah, but historically, they're the historically most. they are three of the Abrahamic religions. Yes, they are the three Abrahamic religions. They are three of like two hundred worldwide religions. All right, wait, I'm getting off track here. So so you think, why do you think it's important then to teach, to give kids a framework of morality through religion? Because you can give them a framework of morality right? without I religion. A, I don't need I religion think, to give I, my I children a framework of morality. I think teaching kids that... Do you, think, God is, do you think we should That teach? their actions will be judged... Do you think we should teach? I don't, believe, I don't believe. A, I don't believe their actions are going to be judged by some higher power. But do you? Is that a shame? But do you, but that's an important thing to tell kids. I think because they should, they should believe. They should think critically about their actions and and to do good and to be righteous. And I think by telling them that their actions will be judged and that they are. Yeah. So again, again, I don't know how I many. Think, I think that, that I think that's important. Yeah, I don't because I don't believe in a god. So I don't believe it's important to teach kids that they're going to be that that some fucking uh, evil dude is watching them. Because if we're gonna if we're gonna say fucking Christianity is what we need to be teaching kids, the Christian God is evil as fuck by his own metrics. He's an evil piece of shit. I'm not arguing. First of all, I'm not arguing. I'm saying religion in general. Yeah, why can't yeah, I can just very easily teach them morality without religion. If I need to teach my kids, if phenomenon. I need to teach my kids, if I need to teach my kids that in order to be a good person, they have to be afraid that someone's going to judge them, then they're not actually a good person. They're just being blackmailed into being a good person. This is a very modern thing though. Well, we are living in the modern age, so very- it doesn't shock me. But I mean, this is, it's very untested to have, to, to be speaking so openly about just rejecting a foundation that our society 
has been based on for thousands of years. It's and not we're untested. Trying this, we're, we're trying this now, and we're saying, yes, you should reject this thing. 100%. Not and untested, you think though. That's a, you think that's a good idea? Yep. All right. That's fair. I appreciate your time, and it was nice talking to someone who disagrees with me. I don't feel any... Uh, uh, what's it called? I don't know. I, I thought you were going to say that, you know, a, this, the same things that people try and say when they argue against abortion where they're like, oh, um, it's not actually a human life. It's just a clump of cells. Well, I was expecting that, but I appreciate that you were actually able to articulate your thoughts and and you seem very well researched and so i respect that it was it was nice talking to you all right you too have a good one